there is literally something or someone in our campsite right now. Ten. There's footsteps. Oh everywhere. my god. There's footsteps all outside our tent. Holy right. yeah, that's right. <gasps> Okay, you heard that, right? Yeah, but what was the scream? Definitely animals, we know that. Oh! <laughs> We just found this diary in the forest. One of the dates in here is from October 27th, 1972. Oh There's God. pictures of this family. Wyatt. Wyatt. Is this Wyatt? This is a forest that is apparently so damn scary that the locals in the town nearby won't step foot into it. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, oh. Oh my God, they're actually, holy Bro. Get in the truck! What? Get in the truck! Okay! Alright guys, tonight we are going to be filming and camping overnight in probably the scariest location we have ever been to. This is a forest that is apparently so damn scary that the locals in the town nearby won't step foot into it. Now. We were shared a personal story from someone who does live in a town nearby of what they experienced here. And oh my God, it is horrifying. Af after what they experienced, they said they will never come back here. Daytime, nighttime, it does not matter. They will never step foot into this forest again. Now, it wasn't always like that. Apparently, this was a really nice place about 15, 20 years ago where families would come, spend time with their families, camp. And there's even some houses deep within this forest uh, near the lakes and stuff like that. Apparently, really nice ones. However, a lot's changed. Now those houses are just left with the foundations, old wooden cabins, and I mean, that's cool for us, but not for, you know, the town. But the strangest thing of all is that people in the town nearby are basically raised to avoid this place at all costs. They're told to never come here, that all these bad things happen here. Uh, for example, murders, missing people, uh, paranormal activity, cryptids, a whole bunch of strange things, satanic rituals. Now, obviously, these could all just be rumors, but this is what people are told in the town nearby. This is what causes so much, basically, mass hysteria, and no one wants to come here. However, what happens when you tell kids not to do something? Oh, they go do it. They go do it. So that's basically what happened to the person who shared the story with us, and I'll be sharing that later on. It's about a 10-minute long story. It's actually horrifying. When I heard that story for the first time, my stomach, I had the worst feeling, like, this isn't going to be a good night, but fast forward, we're here. <laughs> so it's just how things so happen. It won't here. be a good night. Um, as you can see, we got a pretty snowy night and oh, it's going to be really cold tonight. However, we do have the truck, so we should be good. Now, so I think our next course of action is to try to find like a flat area where we could set up a tent. Now, I know how crazy that may sound to you guys uh, camping in this weather in this forest where we just heard all these crazy things, but that's who we are, guys. We do these kind of things, so you don't have to. So if you guys are excited, oh my gosh, whoa. And you want to see more videos like this? Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And uh, oof, comment hashtag camp and if you want more videos like this. So I guess, um, oh, look at that. That's a nice trail we can go down. Hashtag off. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh. What the f was that? What the f was that? Bro, that was a fucking person. Or something that looked like a person. Bro, look, hold on, hold on. There's footsteps. Follow the footsteps, follow the footsteps. Oh, okay. it's definitely a person. One hundred percent, it was a person, or whatever the hell else it would be. Oh, what else would it be, man? Footsteps go over here to the right. Where the hell would they even go? I don't want to stick around and find out. No, let's go. Well, then keep rolling, just in case. Just in case. Oh. Bro, what are they doing out here? I have no idea. <sighs> it feels like we saw something we weren't supposed to or something. I don't know. 
five minutes in here and like realistically what the hell is someone doing out here at this time this weather I have no idea from what I was told currently there's no one living here from what I was told that was a, that was a living person uh, we have to rewatch that footage back I feel like as soon as we find a spot it's the first thing we should do yeah, hundred percent. Okay, um, well, let's let's try to do exactly that. Let's try to find a spot, and we'll see you guys when we find that. All right, guys, got the tent up. Uh, this is where we're gonna be staying for the night. I do want to mention that I have no idea what the hell that was that we saw. Uh, we tried rewatching the footage back on the camera, but the viewfinder's tiny. You could see almost like something. Something. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Not the time flashlight, not the time. You heard that, right? Like branches breaking over here? Yeah. What was it? Hello? All right, so another scary part is we were driving and driving and driving and there's really nowhere to like park the truck and kind of like pull off apart from here. We're about a mile and a half from where we saw whatever the hell we saw. Now, if it's a person, a mile and a half is pretty far. You know, we didn't see another vehicle or anything. Sure. Should be okay. Uh, but we figured, you know, we kind of just walk around, check this place out for a bit. Um, hopefully, we do come across some old foundations or some buildings like we were shared in the story. And then, um, let's kind of go check it out. So, we either go down this way, Ben, or this way. I do see a yellow sign over there, so maybe we could go check that out. Sure. All right, let's go do that. Yellow signs are usually good, I think. Yeah. Construction signs are yellow sometimes. I guess that's not good, but... We got some fresh water here if we get thirsty. True. You know. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, as long bad. as we don't see that shit we saw earlier again, I'm... Yeah. I'm doing okay. Oh, it's like a bike trail. There's oh. footsteps. Oh. Okay, so... You want to flip a coin? Well, who goes? No, no, if we go or not. I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm a little worried being kind of far away from the car or the truck after everything that's already happened tonight. Uh, however, I mean, this is kind of close. We're close. right there. All right, let's just be, we'll just be careful. Ten minutes. Yeah. I'll fire up Spear Talker. So I'll fire up a Spear Box. There's a Allegedly, this place may be haunted. We'll find out. We'll you know, use some spear box apps and see if anything comes through. Anything wants to communicate with us. If not, then the place isn't haunted. There's just people around here running, you know, yeah. in 20 degree weather. For no reason, I guess. Okay. If there's anybody here that'd like to communicate, please use your energy. My name is Yasko. I'm Ben. Howdy. Can you give me a sign to let me know there's someone here with us? Wait, stop for a sec. Okay, maybe just here. I me like with the water and yeah, the snow's the water, loud. Right. You know what I mean? The water. I'm. I'm always trying to debunk what we hear. You know, because I'm like. Should we tell them about what we saw when we uh, got to one of our? Camping spots earlier? Or yeah, so we be? pulled off earlier because we found this nice flat spot. There were cat prints, to say the least. That I have were a like um, Yeah, Ben has a picture. I'll put them on screen. They're like this big. It was massive. Massive. So we were like, yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we we moved a little bit. I like house. It's pets. dead quiet right now. It's weird. I mean hey bro, this place could maybe just not be haunted. It's quite the possibility. So, apparently, like, the town worries that if people go in here, even at, like, nighttime, like, bad things will happen, you know, maybe they won't come out kind of thing. What about during the daytime? Well, no, it's come to a point where people are so scared that they don't even go in the daytime. Really? Yeah. Wait. Fred. Fred. Hey, Fred. Hey, Fred, nice to meet you, pal. It's got really quiet.
I thought I heard like a branch break. I thought I saw something over there. Wait, what? What did you think you see? Right over there. Over left, 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 a little bit left. In those bushes over there. Fred? Is that you? I don't know if it was Fred. I fucking hate you. What? <laughs> Why would you make that sound? Or oh, doesn't know what you do? For cats, yeah. Oh shit, my bad. Sorry, I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, no one taught me. You know, yeah. proper cat etiquette. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't think a wild cat would understand that call, but I don't want to test it. Fair enough. Oh, that was something. That was definitely... Holy shit. Okay. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Help. What oh, the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, now I gotta help you. You good? Francis. I see Jesus. I see Jesus, not Francis, but that's in the same camp. I tripped over something when I was fucking backwards. So did you, apparently. Um, it's thick. What 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 what, what is this dude? A picture. Like a, is that a, a picture from? Of him? Holy Bible. There's like things crashed into it. Look. T E R I. -E. Yeah, T E R I. Terry. Terry? Am I seeing that properly? Or Jerry? Is that a T or J? Might, might be a J. I can't tell, honestly. It's either Terry or Jerry. I've never seen Terry nor Jerry spelled like that. Me either. You stay heard that, talk. though. Okay, okay. Sounds good. We'll stay and talk. Try not to freak out as much. Um, whatever that was, though, that sounded like it was close. Yeah. New Testament. Oh, what? Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, what? We, we're not we're close to there. Or Tennessee. I mean, it's the same thing. We're not near Nashville or Tennessee. I'm stupid. I'm <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Travel diary. Oh, shit. What? I doubt. I think actually, anyone actually, like... You used it? Oh my god. Holy shit. There's no way. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this quick. There's a physical address on here, a name. Bro, the date. 10 27 72. What the hell? I'm gonna take bro? a picture of this guy. I don't wanna. 72. We're talking about 50. Yeah. I'm gonna take ah, a picture of this. What? I don't wanna put the address on screen or anything, but I'm gonna take a picture of this so you guys can see the date and whatnot. You oh, that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I have a really bad feeling about this. Blood type O positive. In case of emergency, there's a phone number. Damn, bro. Wait, what if we tried calling it later? Itinerary. Norwalk, Connecticut. New York City. Erica. To Dude, London. There's an Erica in there, bro. Wait, Heathrow to Hanover. Hanover, Germany. Hanover, Germany. I know that from watching yeah. football. Hey, there Hanover, you go. Germany. Um, okay. Oh my God, bro. Oh wow. Wait, hold on. 27, 10, 72. So in America, they write the date with the month first, day second, year last. This is written 27, 10, 72. So this must be from someone from the UK or she she just Europe. And she, she killed. Okay, hear me out. What if, um, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions. I don't want to get, uh, this. Sorry, I said UK. It's so cold out here. Sometimes my the couple of brain cells that I have, they tend to 
work sometimes. Um, Kennedy Airport, New York City, flew out of Kennedy um, for London at 7 p.m. In a.m., taken limousine to meet Barb. Damn, we got money. After checking baggage, we went into the city while Joe did business. Oh. We walked the streets of New York. Um, at last, we started on our long-awaited trip. The plane was mammoth. Eight seats across. So many people and so noisy. We got no sleep. Ride was smooth and hardly seemed like we were moving. Eight seats across. Wait a second. Oh my god, bro. There is no way. Oh my god. In this diary, we just found... One light. I count two. Yeah, two at the moment. It's a picture of kids. Where is this? I think that's a... Uh, can I take a look at that? Yeah. It looks like some sort of... War monument. Maybe... Um, maybe the Civil War, honestly, bro. I see muskets. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What is that? You're hearing this, right? Right behind you. Okay, yeah. Let's turn around. Oh, fuck. What the hell was that? Something's moving over there. Yeah. Eric, is that you? Fred? Francis? Um, oh, Ben, 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 come here. Look, show that. July 12th, 00. zero. That was printed July 12th, 2000. Oh my 24 God. 24 years ago almost. I, there's no way this has been out of here for 24 years. No. This has been moved here. Absolutely not, bro. The map, they mark where they've been on the map. Hold on. The, okay, yeah, let's just keep on going. Holy shit, bro. Oh. That was a growl? Yeah. I don't know what. Someone's coming. Fuck me. Fuck me. Get the knife. Get the knife. Alright, turn around for a sec. Who's coming? Someone's coming. I know. Can you tell us who? London for Hanover, Germany. Lunch spaghetti. I think this genuinely just might be someone's like journal. Full then they went to diary. Helmstead. We all slept late. Um, we went to breakfast. Ma Mayor, Mayor Wallace. Wait, I want to see where this ended up. Like, where is the last journal entry? So they went from Helmstedt, I don't know where Helmstedt is, to Berlin, Germany. From Berlin, this was Halloween in 72. Weather foggy. I walked through... Mist. Mist. Weather foggy, mist. <laughs> Weather foggy, mist. mist. <laughs> <laughs> Berlin to Warsaw. Warsaw. That's... Poland. Warsaw, Poland. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, good job. Go, there we go. I'm a tell you from Europe. I'm a geologist. Yeah. You're not an American. I can tell you from Europe. I said Europe. geologist. I am <laughs> more. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Scar. Scar. I'm not trying to get one tonight. Anyone wants to give me one can fuck off. All right, let's continue. Back to window shopping. Oh my god. Warsaw, Warsaw to Prague, Prague, Czech Republic. It says foggy, then sunny. Prague. Prague is the last written. 511.72. Why is that backwards? Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. 511.72, November 5th. Okay. Prague um, took us on a town tour of Prague. We went to the castle, art get- was a child. Wow. Holy shit. I'm trying to see if there's anything else written in here. Maybe it's one of the kids in the picture. Oh, oh shit. 
purchases, yeah. purchases, expenses. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. We might have like a lead on like... Duck. They bought a duck. Oh, probably food. Um, oh, fancy. Yeah, they got money. Isabella. Oh, I was a child, Isabella. Dolls. Spent $100 on dolls. Damn. $100 on dolls in New York City? Is this New no, York City? No, or? in uh... It doesn't say. Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, that was on 9-11. What, 9-11? That's what it says. Music box. Jesus. Yeah, I'm hearing shit from out there, but... So... Interesting to find this. This is crazy. Th this is insane. This is like someone's time capsule almost. Yeah. Like... The picture is so crazy to me. Nothing on the maps. And then the photo. Shame for the maps, but we should definitely keep that. Thank you. I'll hold it. Maybe there wasn't anything written in the testament that I saw, the New Testament, sorry. Um in the front page or Not the even back. like a name or anything. No, nothing. Front. Okay. So apart from like so the only name we have so far is Joe, and I think Joe might be the significant other of whoever is writing in here. I'm just trying to make sure maybe... Well, I, th I think when we get back to the tent, sorry, got hiccups. Uh, when we get back to the tent, we could read this a little bit more. Yeah. Thinking back to the story of what was shared to me from someone who lives nearby, um, they found some pretty interesting things too. Nothing like this, but some pretty dark and twisted things. Um, so why don't we go back and um, I'll share that story with you guys. And then we'll come back out here. Maybe go deeper in here because um, obviously something's going on. Something. You know? But I just want to make sure the truck is okay, the campsite's okay, and uh, all the source. Absolutely. So, uh, Anybody out there? Okay, so I noticed something. I think this might have already been broken beforehand. Cause, um, look, there's tape on both sides. Ow, oh, ow, okay, we're that's good. That's cool. Oh, sweet. Um, it looks like this was, I don't think we broke it when we yeah, tripped over. Yeah, so, I don't think we did either. Yeah. I will say, if that is Jerry or Terry, I didn't see that in the journal. And apart from the New Testament, I know this is like a, a Bible box, but you know, it looks like it was made to hold oh, like a Bible. bigger size Bible yeah. if you look at this right here. Yeah. It has it on the other side as well. She killed me. Wait, wait, bro, bro. That's earlier. the second time. It said she killed earlier. Yeah. Now it says she killed me. Okay, I feel like there might be like a mystery tied to this whole thing. Yeah. It's a little bit deeper. Wait. Fuck. Imagine that. Huh. We end up digging deep into some mystery, bro, that happened here because... What, what is? What did I tell you? That some of the things that allegedly happened here. You know what I mean? Exactly. Now, whether you guys believe in ghosts or not, or cryptids, is up or... to you, right? Or just cryptids, Bigfoot, whatever in general. Whatever. You know, I like to keep an open mind on things. More so because I'm one of those guys where I have to see it to believe it. Associated. Remember what I said? I said. It. I mentioned earlier how there's allegedly things done here. Yeah. Is that associated? She killed me. Is that associated with the story? Could be. Yeah. I like to just keep an open mind. Like, Ben, for example, do you believe in aliens? I do. I don't know if I believe that they're, you know, like, you don't believe they're like, with big heads. Or, yeah, massive eyes and it shit. It could be like, they could be like the equivalent of like a prairie dog on another planet. Like no, no uh, higher intelligence, no communication skills, anything like that. They're just like living beings. They're just living beings that are just kind of cool. <sighs> oh, okay. Be careful, careful, careful. Here, here, you go first, you go first. Oh, what did I just see? Bro, you didn't just see that? It was me. It just said it was me. 
Okay, what the fuck? I just want to make sure that's what it said. It literally said it was me. Oh, God. That's good. Okay, well. We definitely gotta dig a little bit deeper into that. Maybe even head down that trail again, just to see if there is anything more that we may have missed. Cause that, if that was covered in the snow, that could have been there since fall, spring, summer. I don't know, yeah. God knows what, yeah. but like, tripped over it. <laughs> I'll let you say one last thing. You said something. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, the responses we were getting, though, like, it's kind of scary how it accurate really scary. it was, and, you know. Whatever that sound was, when we, like, right before we tripped over that box. Oh, whatever, it scared the shit out of me. That that was like a growl. I think yeah. you even said it. You're like, that was a growl. 100%. It, sound, it literally sounded like a growl. But the, the crazy thing always is, like, we hear these things, and you go, and you don't see anything. And you're like, what, what was that? The day that you we know? see something that growls at us like that. You guys won't see the next upload. It just won't be uploaded. It just won't be uploaded. Like a found footage video. Yeah, you'll see it in the news or something. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, man. I hope. Maybe he doesn't want to say anything. Well, I was saying a lot earlier. Maybe it's getting quiet again. Yeah, it was some, quiet some of the responses like, Erica, she killed one light. Oh. Shot. Shot. Is that how you died? All right, well, actually, as a matter of fact, let's warm up a little bit. Um, I want to warm up, and then uh, let's try to dig a little deeper. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Um, before you see the next clip of us going back out there, I want to share with you guys the story of what was shared to me from somebody who lives nearby and their personal experience inside of this forest. So take a look at that. All right, guys, so normally we tell you the story that was shared with us in the tent. However, we figured we'd warm up a little bit in here, you know, since... We can. <laughs> we have so, the technology now. We have the technology. So, all right. It's a little bit longer. If you want to skip ahead, by all means, this is one story that I don't recommend skipping ahead, though, because honestly, this story alone scared me. It scared me to the point where I almost didn't come here. And that says a lot. So, you ready? Oh, ben man. doesn't even know this one yet. So, oh boy. Here we go. So this is a forest that everyone in my town fears. Ever since I was a kid, there were rumors circulating that strange things happened in this forest. And you know how kids are. They like to do the opposite of what they're told not to do. Growing up, we were told to never go out there, and especially to never be in that general area alone. There were many different stories, missing people, murders, satanic cult stuff, cryptids, ghosts, whatever scary shit you could think of, it was claimed to have happened here. A couple of years back, my friend RJ and I decided to check this place out one day after class. It was around 4 p.m. in December. We didn't plan on staying long. We just wanted to check it out for ourselves. The roads here were awful. I had a Pathfinder. That, that's one thing I was wondering. What Pathfinder? It's got to be some sort of car. Uh, but even with that, I was struggling in some parts. After about five minutes of driving slowly, we approached an opening as if it was the beginning of a driveway. There was a very faded, no trespassing sign and a long, rusty chain on the ground. We discussed if this was a good idea, as the sun was already setting. This was when we heard a gunshot in the distance behind us. It sounded far, but close enough, close enough for us to be freaked out. We went forward and down this old, narrow road and eventually came to an old, decaying wooden house. So I just want to reiterate, not only did they not listen to everyone in the town to not go in here, they also didn't listen to the no trespassing sign. Who does that remind you of? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, no one. So yeah, they approached this old, decaying wooden house. It was clearly abandoned, windows were broken, and the door was wide open. We decided to check it out quickly and get out of this forest. We entered the house and there was a full set of furniture covered in dust and webs, bags of random items like duct tape and empty bleach bottles, and a half deflated air mattress in the corner. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. It gets creepier. We had a really bad feeling about everything, so we started to leave when we heard a scream from towards the direction we came from. This wasn't a normal scream. This was a blood curdling scream, almost as if it was a cry for help. We're both hunters, and that was not an animal, at least one that we have never experienced. That was something that had both of us frozen from moving and scared out of our minds. 
We walked back into the house to discuss a quick plan when we noticed a receipt on the floor. It was from a local hardware store in our town. It gave us a bad feeling. Whoever's receipt it was purchased duct tape, bleach, and a couple of other random things like light fixtures, outlet covers, etc. It looks like a normal hardware store shopping list, but it gave me a really bad feeling with some of the items regardless. We looked at the date on the receipt and it was three days before we were there. This gave me the worst feeling in my stomach. We continued to look and found a small purse wallet with nothing inside but arcade cards. At this point, it was almost completely dark out. We said enough is enough and went back to the Pathfinder. On the way out of the long driveway, we saw a light coming from the left side of the driveway, the opposite side of where we came from. We drove slowly and to the left was a white truck with its lights on. There was no one inside of the truck, but we didn't want to take any chances and drove away. We couldn't shake the fact that there was something very strange going on in this forest. However, we didn't want to stay another minute. We understand why everyone is so scared of this place. If you guys do stay here overnight, you have some mega balls. <laughs> Much love, guys. And if by any chance you do go out there, good luck. Okay. So, the whole idea of like it being a house deep in the forest. You come across bleach, duct tape, a woman's purse. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I can definitely understand why you would get like this gut wrenching feeling as if like something's wrong. You know, th that's like a. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies, true yeah, crime okay. shit. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like that, that, that would be something that would immediately just freak me the hell out. Now, not only that, but clearly someone was probably staying there with the air mattress and all that. Yeah. The receipt being three days old, clearly someone was there recently. And also, there was like. They say there was bleach cans there. Or empty. Like empty. Yeah. And like that's the weird part, you know what I mean? And then you factor in the white truck that was on the outside. So the way it was described was they went into this trail, but when they came out, the truck was on the opposite side of where they came from, like right. parked. Lights on, but no one in the truck. You have to wonder, like, was there someone maybe who got out of the truck and was watching them, following them? Like, right. who knows, like you know? Or someone yeah. who knows the area better. Right. And... You know, that then you just come to terms that, yeah, there's definitely something weird going on here. Mm. And um, it didn't take long for us to even experience that ourselves. You know, we saw whatever the hell we saw. I can't wait to blow that up on the computer later okay. and, like, zoom in yeah. and potentially see what the hell it was. Yeah. But yeah, Whatever it was, was, like, running on two legs. It that's the like... thing. Like, we want to talk cryptids. We want to talk weird people being out here. Like, at that point, I don't even know what I'd rather see. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. shit. Um, I will say, though, guys. <sighs> oh That's his God. phone? That's my phone. It's pretty obvious why this would scare a lot of people in town. Stories like that, experiences like that. And, you know, that's just how local folklore is in general, you know? We have some stories from our town. Like, one that I always use an example is Hotel Utica. It was this old hotel about 200 years old, and um, the top three floors are reportedly very haunted. And then eventually Doubletree uh, purchased the entire hotel, and they renovated everything except the top three floors. And a lot of things happened here, but, you know, everyone always wondered, like, what's going on up there? And mm -hmm. no one was ever allowed to go up there. I would drive by this place every single day, and I'm like, what's going on up there? We finally had the pleasure of filming there and experiencing it for ourselves, but, like, you know, that's how local folklore is. Like, I grew up thinking, like, damn... You know, every single day, what what's going on up there? Exactly. And then, but that. Why did you roll all the way down? Why did you roll all the way down? Sorry, I'm just trying to listen. Okay. Well.
we got to be real careful here. Because I definitely feel like there probably is something out there. Definitely Someone is. out there. Definitely animals, we know that. Oh! Fuck! Someone just hit the fucking car. Yeah. Hold on. What are you doing? Can you give me that knife? Uh, fuck, oh, Jess. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I think you can just stay in the car. In the truck. I wouldn't go pick a fight with something. You don't have to, but here you are. Hey, bro, if we're gonna stay here, I wanna make sure we're safe. Yeah, but... I'll be right back. Oh, Jazz, you... Damn fool. Who's out here? Oh, my God. Who's there? It's incredibly brave and stupid. Get back in the car. No, 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 no. Um, something was up there. I don't know if it was an animal. I don't know what the hell it was. Up the trail where we were coming from. Or where we went and came back from? Yeah. I saw something move up there. I don't know what the hell it was, pretty far away. I believe it. Well, nonetheless, like, if it was an animal, what do you think? Like, it just bumped into the truck? Like an idiot? Maybe, like, a deer, maybe, that ran into the... They are pretty stupid. Maybe it was yeah. that. Yeah, But... At the same time, like, I didn't... Like, there are footsteps that have been here before we even came here. So I don't know. Like, I, I, I can't tell, but... Or maybe we should stay in here for a little bit just to... I think we should. What is that? You hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. It's still going. Okay, you know what, um, well, let's lay low for a little bit, and um, as for you guys, I'll show you guys what happened when we went back exploring um, on some of the trails, and some of the other things that we experienced, but for now, uh, we're probably going to lay low, and kind of like feel this out, if it genuinely feels like it's too dangerous, or like we, we don't, we feel uneasy, we're going to leave, like, that's not a problem, but um, here's what happened earlier, I, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. No, you're not. Paranoid. No, no you're, you're not. You're hearing it too? Yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to attempt this trail now. See what this part of the forest has in store for us. Oh, yeah. I do want to mention it got significantly colder. It generally feels like 15 degrees colder. Yeah, I would say. My goodness. Is anybody here with us? Anything, anyone. There are some footprints here. I sure are. What do you think? How fresh? I don't know. You want me to find out? Yeah, what are you going to do? I've seen this in Spongebob. How long? Six days. Six days? 7.23 p.m. <laughs> Fucking, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't know. I trusted SpongeBob. It's my fault. Listen, if you if you like ate a little bit of this now, I believe you. The that yellow you, you one. Right? The... Yeah. Oh. oh. I thought I saw something move down there. Like, you see where that brush is down there? Yeah. It looked like it was like moving up and down a little bit. Everything else is completely still right now. Moving no up wind. and down. Wait, Ben. 
I've been alone for years. Oh, okay. Well, are you the bouncy thing over there? Huh? The thing that's bouncing? Maybe. I'm gonna follow the footsteps. Damn, it's cold. I dress properly and everything, it's just cold. I even got my fuzzy wool socks on. <laughs> I, did, I didn't see you do have those on. What is that? I don't know. Is it like a birdhouse? Uh, I think. It looks like it. Or no, it doesn't. That's not a birdhouse. I see hair. It is a doll. It's like frozen, bro. Yeah, it's like stuck out like that. Yeah. You see it? Oh, that's really weird. Bye. I don't like that. I don't like that either. See, so you say goodbye, and I say hello. Attachment. What? Attachment. To that? What's with the... Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Why is that hair stuck out like that? Is it like legit frozen? I think it's frozen. That's wild. That's actually crazy. Like, there's no face on the. Come here. What? There's no face on the doll. Uh. If you guys have any idea what type of doll this is, can you please let us know? It looks like it could be like Native American, maybe. But that's, a, that's a good I guess. What is this though? The uh it almost looks like those um you know those necklaces they use to put like uh different like herbs in to like protect herbs and you. medicine. Yeah. yeah. It does kinda I get that vibe as well. Yeah, if you guys have any idea, let me know. I know countries, apparently. Wait, wait. I, so I was talking about the journal, the countries in the journal. Yeah. Remember in the journal it said some of the expenses, doll? from a country? Oh no. I, I can't remember what country. Bro. We... No, I don't know if that's connected. I don't know, that's that's a long shot. Don't grab it, Stolo. No, no, I'm not gonna touch visitor. it. Visitor. What? Visitor. Attachment visitor. Maybe, maybe that's the someone, attachment to the doll talking to someone us. Someone bought the doll in Europe. Oh. That had an attachment, a visitor, oh. brought it here. I don't know, it's a long, uh, I'm literally just, uh. That's the thing with these like responses. Sometimes you gotta just. Oh, be careful here. Oh wow. Oh, it's like a little bridge, I think. We're good. It's a nice area, to be fair. That's nice. I mean, someone was clearly down here recently. Well, I don't know though. I don't know when's the last time I snowed here. Can you tell us something about the doll? Who's talking? My name is Yasko. I'm here with my friend. Ben, howdy. We're the ones talking. Do you have a name? I'm talking. Are you squawking? Jeez, <laughs> That's a really creepy tree. Can we just talk about that tree? That's a nice tree. It's got some girth to it. Yeah. Girthy tree. Huh. All right. Hey, and that's some mushrooms. Wait, no, never mind. That's just a plant. I'm an idiot. I wonder how far this goes in. That's a thing, though. Like, I'm getting some really weird vibes, man. Like, thinking back to the box with the journal, with... She shouts. She shouts. Ooh, didn't like that. Um, that was from behind you, yeah, right over there. Oh, that sounded like a clicking sound. It did. Okay, I really hope you guys could hear with these mics. I will say, though, there's no wind right now, so you should have heard that. Yeah, you That was from straight ahead. Yeah, it was. It's time for who wants to be a millionaire question of the night. If you guys were us, what would you do? Would you A, go back to the tent, B, leave the forest as a whole, C, go towards the clicking sound, or D, 
other. <laughs> Let us know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna go with C. C. Yeah, my man. One in what is Rome. this track, by the way? What's I mean, it? this is obviously not an It's animal. a bike this trail. Is a, it is a bike? Well, th this was some sort of bike. I don't know. But I'm saying, is it like a bike or is it like a motorized bike? It looks like it's like a thicker... You know what I'm saying? Like a thicker wheeled bike, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen a bike ride on... Like, it may, I, I'm assuming a dirt bike can handle this. Yeah, like some bikes are built to handle snow. Dirt, okay. mud, all three. 1700s. That's weird. Is that maybe from when? I don't know. What, what about the 1700s? Can you share some more information about that? Could you at least tell us if we're along the right track of trail <laughs> of the <laughs> of the doll and the journal? Are they connected? I hate asking more than one question at once, but sometimes like if it's gonna answer one of them, you know, maybe. Now here's the thing, Ben. About a minute or two ago, we heard a clicking sound, right? Nothing yeah. in sight that could have made that clicking sound. So you start to wonder, what the hell's out here? What are we making you know a clicking I mean? sound? We hear woods. What is that? It's like a whistle, no? Yeah. Hello. Who is that? Who's out here? I gotta lie, since we've been out here, I've had two things on my mind. Whatever the hell we saw earlier, and those tracks we saw. And it's just bouncing between those two things. I'm just fucking freaking out. I, I'm, I'm like, I cannot get myself to come down from like 11 right now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. No, I, brother, I. Uh, I keep on joking and stuff. To I'm, try to yeah, I'm play trying. It to, off, I'm trying but... to. I'm trying to play it off like I'm cool too. What did just happen? The light. Rope torture. Yeah. Light. Rope torture. A rope torture. 1700 rope torture. What the hell is Uh, what was that? Further, we have no light on the camera right now. We have we um, have very little light now. Here's this. I have one. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, Ben. I'm gonna be honest. Going in deeper right now would probably be a bad idea. Yes. Start making our way back. Something's glowing down there. Hold on. To go deeper would be a bad idea. Yeah? That's what you said a second ago, just reminding you. You're right. Sorry, when I see glowing things, I get excited. I'm like a kid, with, like when he sees Coco Melon, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Coco Melon, you wanna get ahead of me? All right. Just keep your eyes open, peeled. Oh, my eyes are open right now, brother. My death was peaceful. That's. The best thing we've heard tonight. Yeah, but right before that, I said rope torture. So, are we speaking to the person who's tortured? No. Or the one who did the torturing? Oh, oh shit, I never thought of that. Hello? Yeah, I don't know, brother. I'm getting a really bad feeling about all this. Yeah, I can't wait to get back to the tent slash car, truck, automobile. I mean, like, hey, at this point, like, do you feel safe enough to camp here? Or do you uh, want to, what do you think? Give it a shot, maybe? Like, we know someone's out here, clearly. But, like, we know that they're, like, pretty, like, 
we were about a mile and a half from where we saw whatever the hell we saw. It's like, yeah, yeah it's far. You know, by now they could have walked over. They really won't. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that off for a sec. Just for a second. Bro, please tell me. Did you see a light over there? Like, oh. I thought I saw a light shining. Hold on. Wait. That's why I have to turn the light off so you can see it on the camera, but I can't see anything. Maybe it was just like a reflector or something? Maybe. I don't know, dude. <sighs> so far, pretty creepy night. Definitely yeah. held up to expectations, I'd say. Yeah, you think? Yeah. I do think. It was like frozen to the tree, right? Stuck into it or something? There's a stick right there. No wind. How did that come off? Don't touch it. That's trying to get you to touch it. That's what my that's my theory. I can't prove that. It's trying to get you to touch adventure. it. Adventure. What is it say? Adventure. Okay, so be adventurous. I have two theories right now. One. It's haunted, right? Yeah. Attachment. Two. Someone's here, knocked off the tree. That's the only two things that could possibly have happened. There's so, no wind at all. Either way. Either way, we're fucked. Should I put it back on the tree? No, don't touch it. Don't touch it? The, the thing said attachment earlier. I don't know. Okay. It, okay. it was weird. It was yeah, right yeah, when yeah. we looked at the weird doll with no face. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, it was right I when we got it. can't prove it. I don't want to prove it. I don't need to prove it. Right. We can just walk right by that thing. It doesn't have legs. Oh, it says something on the back. Look, don't touch it. Oh, no, I'm just going to look at it. Delaware. Really? Delaware? American Indian. Delaware, USA. Miracle. Delaware Valley, USA. Wow. They, we're getting things from like all over the place. Yeah. It's weird. What did that just say? Uh, I don't know. Circle. Circle. What? I, I'm just hearing something. It's far away. Gaining more energy. I'm good. I am good. Hello. It didn't come through. You know when we were right here last time, you know what it said? Bye. You're right. Right in this general oh area. Oh my God. Play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Play the clip right now. <laughs> oh, oh, it was right. You're God. right. It was like right here. We're really close to the truck now. Yeah. I'm gaining confidence. Yeah. The closer we get. Me too. Don't stop now. Yeah, let's go back to our campsite. Secrets. What is that? Secrets. Secret? Bro. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, we got one light. We got one light. We got one, one light for the night. No, we got that. We, we got the generator. We're good. We yeah. can charge everything. Right. Just annoying. Oh, you're right. Oh. That's not going to happen. Super annoying. Oh, we have more flashlights, too, so I'm not too worried. Just like, at this point, just one thing after another. Now, then... Yeah. Once again, the question arises. Should we at least attempt to stay here? I don't know, bro. I mean, clearly at this point, like... I'll be honest. Wait, I want to see something. Did the journal say anything about Delaware? Good question. So... Nothing there. So itinerary. Norfolk, Connecticut, New York City, London, 
Heathrow, Hanover, Germany. The other one said Prague, um, Helmstead. I don't know what that is. Berlin. This is all in Europe. Warsaw. Yeah. And it ends off there, so nothing about Delaware. But I do want to see what it said about the doll in the expenses. Music box, flowers, soldier, like a bunch of antiques probably. Bro, if they bought the doll from an antique shop, yeah, it's possible, right? Because like, it also kind of lines up with like the the whole like in the seventies thing. I mean, yeah, it said in the back it said American like Indian. I know they don't generally go by Amer like American Indian these yeah. days. So it gives you an idea of how old, like coming from like the seventies, kind of true. Makes sense. True, but it's a doll's puppet. Oh, we're running out of time. Brother said it says puppet in here as well. Really? They purchased a puppet for twenty six dollars. Less than a minute. Okay. All right. Um, well, let me. Clearly, our camera's dying. Right. Lights to... are dying. I'm gonna. Yeah. We'll charge everything real quick, and we'll discuss about what to do, whether or not we'll give it a shot, even. But um, we'll see you guys. Regardless, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so here at the campsite, Ben is currently in the tent getting everything set up for the camera, the generator, sleeping bags, all that. Um, I'm currently doing something on the outside of our campsite because I forgot the trail cams. Uh, it's pretty stupid. I mean, I just checked everywhere. I don't know, like in the process of moving cars, I just got this truck. I must have misplaced them maybe in another bag or something but what i do have i purchased this a couple weeks ago i haven't used it yet i have a good 50 of these they are little bells on a rope now i'm gonna make some of them pretty obvious and like pretty out there um some of them are gonna have really low to the ground connected between sticks tree whatever is available and this will be like our alert system Regardless, I don't think that both of us should be sleeping at the same time here. Um, at least not for a bit, just to make sure we are safe here. And then after that, you know, it's been a pretty crazy night so far. I mean, some of the things that we've already experienced and heard and seen and found, its it's been interesting to say the least. But, um... Hey, Ben? Yeah. Did you hear that by any chance? Yeah. What was that? I have no idea. It sounds like... Maybe like a branch break or something? It sounded pretty close though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh! Okay, you heard that, right? Yeah, bro, there's a scream. Uh, I'm coming to the tent. Honest to God, I have no idea what that was. Um, we just both went to go check it out just to make sure that we're the only ones here. That we didn't see anything. We didn't come across anything or anyone for that matter. But like why we're hearing screams. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? What is that? That's really fucking close. Be quiet for a second. I think we might. See if this plays out, we might have to leave. Yeah, like now.
That's footsteps. Ben, that's footsteps. Okay, yeah. There's someone in our campsite right now. Already. Something's here. Something's here. Fucking with it. Or someone's here. Something or someone's here. Okay, I was right up. There is literally something or someone in our campsite right now. I, I think it's something. Right outside of our tent. I think it's something, dude. It moved. It's moving. I'm gonna check. Uh, I'm just gonna check. Um, the, yeah, take the knife. I'm taking that with me. Truck's locked, right? Just to. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, too, because the truck's here, we could always set off the alarm. Yes, we have to. We have to, we can. Alright, you know what? I say we don't go to bed yet. I say we stay up a little bit, sleep this by our side, or sleep if we do sleep with that by our side, and um. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't know if I can get it off. Regardless, all in all, guys, like. This is some... I just keep thinking back to the whole thing, like we've seen somebody within five minutes of coming here, something or somebody. I, I keep thinking to myself it was a person because that's what it looked like. And Ben, we've only been in here for five minutes. You're already taking your pants off. Oh, shut it up. Sorry. Oh, I'm quick. Forget to draw. Do you imagine someone approaches the tent and Ben just comes outside, unbuckles his belt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dance, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like you're about to get the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the knife, just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, alright. Was that you know how to do the trick? Damn, that's loud. Yeah, that's some good shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I dare you. Did you see that f flash of light? No. What are you talking about? You didn't see like a. Like a flash of light, like someone took a picture of over here? You're lying. I swear to God. Did the camera pick that up? Did you guys see that? Roll the window down. The, what do you mean roll the window down? The tail window. Ah. Who's out there? What the fuck is going on here? Bro, I swear to God, it looks like a... Look, this one just took a photo of the tent. There's footsteps. Oh everywhere. my god. There's footsteps all outside our tent. Holy shit. No, no. Someone was literally walking. That's what that was? That's what that was? Someone was right here. Oh, hell no, bro. No, actually, you don't sleep here. No, what scratch the fuck? it. Get scratch the fuck it. Out yeah, of here. let's go. No, no, no. No, I don't. Fuck that, dude. Hold on, Ben. Whenever you get the chance, grab the camera. Yeah. Bring this shit back on. Who the fuck is- Yo! What, you see him? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey! Oh, fuck. Bro! 
Get in the truck. What? Get in the truck. Okay. Oh. What do you see? Is that a person? There was a person walking away from the tent, all black. I screamed out, looked behind, and just kept running. Started uh, running, went down there. I started going after. There's no way in hell I'm catching him. But I kept going, kept going. You didn't hear that scream? I heard that. I heard that. I heard your scream right after, though. I, I didn't. Well, that was like a woman's scream. What I saw was a guy. So there was a woman there, too. So here's the thing. Here. We're going this way. We are? This, yes. Yes. But you want to get the pen? I don't know if we should leave it. I got to get my wallet, at least. Uh, yeah, everything. We okay, hold on. Fuck, we could always come back for the tent. No. Let's, let's just close it down. Throw it in the bed. Yeah. In the... Okay, yeah. Give me a sec. You stay in here. I'll do it. No, I'm coming. I'm guarding. I got the knife. Uh, I'll leave okay. the camera. Yeah, leave the camera. We'll leave the camera. Yeah. Guys, give us a second. All right. Come on. Let's do this okay. quick. Quick. Yep. I mean, can you tell me what that, like, what you saw? Brother, there's a person, a, a, a guy. Okay. And no, that but like, must be what you seen. The light. Right. And the, what we heard, the footsteps, yeah. like. Well, I, I mean, like, like I said, he was going away from the campsite, and then I, I called out, "Hey, I, I forgot what I even said." It was all in the moment, and then it looked back at me, and then just took off. And I'm like, I see footsteps, you know, but like we're pretty far from the campsite now. Like, I, I don't even know where they could have gone unless it was like a they hopped into a vehicle and got out of here. But like, who's stupid enough to to drive out here apart from us? Like, you know. That's true. They are pretty stupid. I mean, regardless of the fact that like, we heard what we heard, like, that, no, that was I mean, a guy, but the scream I heard, like, sounded very high-pitched. So, no, this is so wild to me. I'm so stuck in the fact that, like, we were sitting there, and those noises we heard that sound like it was outside the tent. Yeah, we were, like, playfully making jokes and stuff. Yeah, like, we had the knife out and stuff, but, like, a lot of those noises, like, are sometimes just typical nature noises, you know what right, I mean? Right, yeah, like, it, sounds, like it was as much as it was scary, it was like, oh, okay, but then we saw, like, the, the footprints with and everything. Oh my yeah. God, bro. So that's that's the whole thing is like, you just never know sometimes. So like, like why, why why were they sneaking around our tent like that? Maybe they, honestly, I'm starting to wonder too, like this could be like a, the road type situation where we think they were up to no good, but like they just happened to be on a walk in the dark woods and yeah, they, it could, it could they just kind of stumbled upon us. But like, I don't, there's a light in the, there's a light in the woods. There's a light in the woods. There was a light in the woods pointing at us. Okay. You guys see that? Oh, God, it went out. Oh, no, it's there still. It's still there. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Okay, uh, Ben? Yeah? Listen, um, listen, guys, I would normally apologize for leaving and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not going to apologize then because, listen, safety comes first and whatever the hell's going on out That's here. That's probably that person. They're probably hiding in the woods right now. Like, think about it. They got, they How got the off fuck road. did they get this far? They, they must have booked it, bro. You, we've, been, we've been following their footprints. Yeah, look Makes at them. Sense. There's footsteps everywhere. I know. I'm saying, bro. Right, we're going the other way. Yeah. Let's do it. But I'm not taking any chances, man. No. Someone's out here with some sort of weapon or whatever. Listen, I, I don't care, guys. I'm sorry. Um, okay, um, end there, guys. See you guys in the next video, whenever it may be. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Slow it back up, back up, back up. I see it, I see it. You do see it, okay. So yeah. You saw it. I There's think we got it on camera too. Alright guys, we really stupid oh there it is. Oh my god, we stupidly we stupidly went there's yeah there's, there's a there's Oh Oh it's it's oh Oh my god they're actually holy Oh damn Okay so we just drove past we we said fuck it and drove past the light that we seen anyways uh, there's Is that their campsite there's drink? people there I don't know but like what what why why go from your campsite to ours and do all that weird shit? Yeah I, I don't know bro 
I, I'm just happy we're out of here. Yeah. All right. Well, see you guys later.